Good morning, Michelle here. I have a new workout. I was playing with it at the gym the other day. You always know it's a good one when you finish up and you're on your way out and you see the people in the gym trying the different moves that you just did in your workout. You know they're watching. Um, I think I'm gonna call it the you have been warned kettlebell workout because I was playing around with it and my thighs hurt and my biceps hurt and it was it was just a really good workout. Um, I'm gonna have the full breakdown on my webpage, mycrazyworkout.com. There are seven exercises, and we are gonna do, um, it's gonna be 20 for the first five, and then we're gonna do a side plank variation type thing, and you walk around in the side plank, so it's like 10 or 15 depending on your steps and how you walk. So we'll get to that one. I'll break it down and explain it as we go. Single leg deadlifts are in there. I am weak and I need balance. So I noticed that that's probably one of my weakest spots. So I might be wiggling and wobbling. If you are really good, I'm gonna do it off of the bench um, so that it's a little more unstable. But if you're really good and advanced, and you don't have a problem and you wanna do it from a ball or a BOSU ball or a balance board, you go right ahead. I'm gonna work up to that. Uh, we're gonna go through four rounds, set our timer for stopwatch. If you're a beginner, you can start with one round. You can drop the weight, whatever you, if you wanna to go to the second round. If you wanna try the second round and you um, can't get all 20 out, you do as many as you can and mark it down, but you do it based on your level, if you know, what your comfort zone. Push past that comfort zone a little bit, push yourself a little bit harder, but don't sacrifice form and don't injure yourself. You want to um, work a little bit harder and push it, but not at the expense of an injury or lack of form. So let's get started. I, you'll need uh, a step or a bench to step up to. You don't necessarily need it, but I notice when you do the front lunges, if you do them to the bench, you get a deeper, you can drop deeper and you can feel it more in your inner thighs. So I'm gonna use a bench for that and the kettlebell and just one dumbbell for the side plank variation. I can't do 15 pounds with the uh, side plank without sacrificing form because we're going to have to really concentrate so you'll see when we get to that one um, that's it let's get started set our timers for stopwatch i'm going to keep my book here handy let me get this set up and show you if you don't have a timer that's okay you can set a if you don't have a gym boss timer you can set a kitchen timer i like the gym boss timer because i like the variations that it gives me entirely up to you on the kettlebell swings we're going to do two different kinds there's a lot of repetitions in these, uh, which is gonna be great. That's why you're gonna feel it so much. But we're gonna do a kettlebell swing with an overhead. You're gonna hold it up. After you swing, you're gonna hold it up. And we're gonna do a walking lunge. And then you're gonna do another swing, and the other leg's gonna walk. I'm gonna walk out of frame for that, but if you can keep going, keep going, uh, you're gonna uh, continue to walk. I'll have to turn and walk back several times to get the 20 repetitions. At the gym, it was nice. I had one straight shot, I could do it, but I'm limited in space. If you're limited, that's fine. If you can't walk at all, you can do the, you know, you can do the walking lunges in place. The key to the walking lunges is go as far as you can without dropping that knee to the ground, to the floor, because when you do that, you release the tension on your, on your uh, thigh. So by holding it up, you're gonna keep that muscle contracted and work harder for when you pull forward. You wanna make sure that your knees are lined up with your ankles, not over your toes, okay? So when you lunge, you'll be like this. You'll lean back. You'll feel like you have a pull running up and down your spine that forces you to stay upright. You don't wanna lean forward and look down. You wanna look straight ahead, all right? Enough talking. I'm putting my gloves on because my kettlebell has a seam that runs through it and digs into my hands. I'm going to take off my jacket because I know I'm going to get hot. Like I said, four rounds through, seven exercises. We're doing a kettlebell swing and you're going to hold that kettlebell overhead and you're going to do a walking lunge. Okay? Let's set this. That one's the first one. Timer's on. 
up. Swing and hold it up. Lunge. Here's two. Three. Four. Five. I have to turn. You keep swinging. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. I have to turn again. There's ten. Eleven. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Five more. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Can you feel them? Twenty. We're not done with these. In front of the bench. <laughs> Kettlebell swing and a front bench lunge. Okay? Swing, lunge to the bench. Alternate these lunges. Two. Three. Four.
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, <laughs> 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, we need this for one more. It is a burpee, clean and press with a reverse lunge. Alternate that reverse lunge. We're doing 20 of these. So keep your kettlebell in front, hop into a plank, hop up, clean and press, lunge back right, down, now left, clean and press, and lunge back left. That's two. Here's three. Here's four. Five. Here's six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Here's ten. Ten more. Keep alternating. Here's nine. Eight. Here's seven. Here's six. Five more. Here's five. Here's four. Three. Oh, books from one, sorry. Two more. Here's two. Press it up. Here's one. Last one. Then we're doing those side planks. Right arm's gonna be first. Grab your dumbbell if you want. You need enough space so that you can walk your feet around in a circle. So we're on the right side first. Stagger those feet. Arm comes up, press up and down. Walk that foot, press up and down. Walk that foot, 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 stay in a side plank. Your arm has to twist, don't lean forward. Up and down, walk that foot. Up and down. Walk it. Up and down. Walk it. I'm only using an eight pound dumbbell because I want to keep good form. I don't want my hips to sag. This is the last one and we're to the beginning. Okay, drop that weight. Now it's the left side. So Get into that left plank. We're gonna walk the opposite way. Feet are out, press up and down. Walk that foot up and down. Step over, up and down. Pull it under, up and down. Step, up and down. Step it, up and down. Step it, 
up and down, step around, up and down, step it, up and down, step it, almost to the beginning, and step up and down. Woo. That's one, one round. Let's move on to the second round. How are you feeling? If you need a break, take a break. Take a 30 second break. No more than a minute. You want to keep that heart rate up. I'm moving. If you want to take a break, pause it and continue. When you're ready, lunge. Lunge far out. Remember, when you do your kettlebell swing, sit that butt back. Make sure those knees are lined up with the ankles. Not over the toes, there's five. I have to turn. Here's six. Seven. Eight. Nine. I have to turn again, there's 10. 11, are you breathing hard? 12. 13, 14, 15, I have to turn, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one for this round, 20, Whew. over to your bench. Ready? Up and hold. Right lunge. Left lunge. Three. Four. Five. Six. Nine. Here's ten. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. You ready for those deadlifts? Four. If you need to drop the weight for balance, you drop it. Three. Two. One. Woo! Okay. Up onto the bench. Engage that core. Right legs first. Slight bend in the knee. Left arm. Hold that dumbbell. One. I gotta force my foot to roll in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Ten more. Ten would be easy. I'm pushing it. If you can only make it to 15, you stop at 15. Three. Four. Come on, this is five. We only have five more, though. You can do it. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Switch to the left. Engage that core, bend that knee. Down. Now, I really have to focus on my keeping my foot rolled in, which really focuses on tightening that inner thigh, because I'm pressing my foot inward to push it down flat to the floor. So you will really engage that inner thigh, which is probably why I felt it so much 
in my legs. It's not about the amount of weight that you do. It is literally thinking about engaging the muscles that are involved. I think this one's eight. We better do seven just in case. Here's eight. I'm not cheating. I need these. Nine. Ten. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four more. Three. You ready for those burpees? Two. And one. Woo! Okay, down. We're going to do these alternating clean and presses with the burpees. Back, up. Clean and press right. Hold up. Lunge back. Back down. Here's two. Clean and press up. Lunge back. Three. There's four. up there, hold it up, engage that core, 14, 
should be tired. I'm gonna walk it with this one now, okay? Up and down, walk around. Up and down, walk around. Up and down, walk it. Keep those hips lifted. Engage that left oblique. Up and down, walk it around. Up and down, walk it. Up and down, walk it around. Crunches don't do anything for me. I find that by doing this stuff and engaging that core, my core has gotten much stronger from when I started. And down, walk it up and down. Woo. You ready for round three? I am. Oh. I hope you're feeling good. If you've had enough and you want to stop there, you stop there. We're moving on to round three and four, and then we'll be done, okay? So, swing it and hold it up. Front lunge, walk that lunge, walk it far. If you don't have room to walk, do a front lunge, but go out as wide as you can, and drop it down. Okay, here's six. I'm coming back around. Here's seven. I walk out of the frame, but I'll keep talking to you. Okay, here's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, here's 17, 18, 19, 20, Woo. ready for the front bench lunges, 20 of these, you want to be back far enough from your bench that when you lunge up, you can plant that leg, keep that knee lined up with the ankle and behind the toe, there's three, I have short legs, I don't have to stand as far back from the step. If your legs are longer, you have a bigger gait than me. You will need to be further back. Is this one eight? Nine. Engage that core. Ten. How are your shoulders and arms feeling? They should be tired from all these repetitions. There's 12, 13, 14, 15. So many variations you can do with this, with a kettlebell swing. Three, two more, two, One. Oh. Okay, you ready for the deadlifts? Put it in your left hand, stand on your right. I need to do that because if it's in my right hand, I'm, I'm pulling too much to the outside. So by putting it in my left hand, it forces me to rotate over and roll my foot in and keep it flat on the floor. Three, four, Five, are you breathing hard? I am. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten more. If you feel you need to drop the weight, drop the weight and keep going. Nine. Eight. Seven, woo! <laughs> Six, engage that leg. Five, keep those abs tight. Four, three, two, 
one. When I say I'm focusing on rolling my foot in, I'm focusing on putting the weight on the, the, the lower part of my big toe, okay? That's where I'm focusing my attention to force my foot to come in. One, which is why I think I can feel it up through my thigh because I'm engaging those muscles to hold myself still. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, if you don't have a kettlebell, you can use a dumbbell for this. 10, 11, 12, for this workout I mean. 13, 14, we have 15, five more. Five, abs are tight, four, Three, two, last one. Ready for the cleanup presses? Burpees. Press it up and then lunge back. If you lunge back while you're pressing up, you can't really control that weight. That's why you end up with bruises on your forearm from the momentum of the kettlebell. So control that weight, press it up, hit that shoulder, hold it, engage it, and lunge back. Here's four. Five. Here's six. Get 
almost there. One more, come on. This is it. See, we're back to the beginning. Oh, drop that weight. Woo. Oh, I'm sweating. Okay, you ready? Up and down. Rock it. Up and down. Bring that elbow back along your back. That way you keep your chest lifted and you're not leaning forward. And down. That's why you want a lower weight. You want to focus on engaging these muscles. Good form. And down. Up and down. Walk it. Up and down. Almost there. Last one. Woo. Okay. One more round through and we're done. How are you feeling? If you feel like you need to stop here, stop. If you think that you can do it, drop the weight and continue. Okay, push through. Do what you can. Up, lunge. Swing, lunge left. There's two. Here's three. Here's four. Are your shoulders tired? Here's five. Here's six. Then we gotta turn. I do anyway. Here's seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, no, oh, 20. Oh, are you glad they're done? Okay, swing, hold up, front lunge. Here's two, here's three, four, five, six, seven, Nine. Ten. Ten more. Come on, you can do it. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, whew, three more, almost done. Two, last one. Oh. Okay, oh, you ready for the deadlifts? Work with me on these. These are my weak ones. One, two, Three, engage that core. Four. Five. Six. Slight bend in your knee. Seven. By bending that knee slightly, it's easier to balance. It's easier to engage those muscles. Eight. Nine, ten, ten more, ten, nine, eight. Now listen, 
If you're like, you can't get it all the way back there. You don't have to worry about that. If you want to lightly lift up on your left leg and then eventually go a little bit further back, you do that. You work at your level. Two, one, four. Okay, ready? Slight bend in that left knee. One, two, engage that leg. Engage those muscles, tighten those abs. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I really think by focusing, I'm balancing the weight, rolling it into the entire foot that I'm actually more stable. I was really having a hard time with them. 10 more. 10, nine, and I guess that's what we do in yoga. The difference is, is we're not in shoes. Whoops, talking, I can't do this. 14, 15, so we do balance it all out on our foot. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Whoo! Ready for those burpees? Always my favorite. Somehow or another, I have to work burpees into every workout, don't I? There's one. Lunge back. Remember, press that weight up, hold it, engage those shoulders before you do that lunge. Two. Three. Here's four. Five. You can do it. Five. Four. You should feel that in your butt when you lunge back. Three. Two more. Two. Ready for those planks? We're almost done. Right sides first. Right plank. Okay. Remember, keep that weight behind you. Press up and down. Walk forward. Lift that heart to the ceiling, to the sky. 
Don't lean and look down. Look up, okay? Eight pounds is heavy. If you're doing it right, if it gets to be too heavy, lower that weight. Keep that form. Almost done. This is your last one. All we have is the left arm. You should feel that. If you're engaging your core, you should feel that in your core, in that oblique. Okay, lift it up, press it up and down. Now walk that foot up and down beside your back. Keep your chest lifted. Look your head up. If you can, look up to the dumbbell as you press it up. It will keep you from looking down and dropping those hips up and down, up and down, up and down, walk it up and down, walk it up and down, walk it one more. Wow, okay. 41.54. Oh, uh, it took me a long time to hit it. 41, this is the same 41.56 because it took me a minute to hit the button. That's okay. 41, uh, 41.56, I'll take it. If you feel like you have more energy than you want to, you can do a fifth one, a sixth one, however many you want to do. Just remember, focus on your form. Don't get fatigued and don't get sloppy. Lower your weights. We're doing a lot of repetitions. You're gonna feel it tomorrow. You're gonna feel it in your shoulders, in your biceps, especially this one where we pressed up because you're dropping it down. You're not, a lot of people push forward and work more of the fronts of their delts. And when you do that, you roll in and you round your back. We were trying to keep it back and engaged so you'll get some of your back as well. And, and as well as the oblique. So just remember, good form, less weight. It's not about the weight, it's about the form, the quality, okay? I hope you had a good workout. I like that one. You have been warned, workout. Enjoy your day, I'll see you soon.